Australia's private health insurers will all be raising their premiums on the 1st of April. April Fool's Day. Joke's on us, I suppose. <laughs> Joining us with their thoughts, would you please welcome Reese Nicholson. <laughs> So, Reese. Now, each month, <laughs> like 15 million Australians, I chuck a sizable wad of my taxable income into private health insurance. It's something I hopefully don't need to use, but I feel safer knowing it's there, like the life jackets on a plane or the hunting knife I keep strapped to my ankle at all times. <laughs> Charles, private health insurers can increase their premiums once a year and boy have they gone in for it this time. Next month, millions of Australians with private health insurance will see their premiums rise by an average of 3%. Who's to blame for these price increases? Greedy CEOs, war in the Middle East, the poor? Insurers are blaming the nation's ageing population for the latest hit to the cost of living. Boomers, that's right. <laughs> Nature's scapegoats. <laughs> Now, you might think it's the poor health that's making the system more expensive. Yeah, I, I did see Wrong! that. Wrong! Oh. It's <laughs> not their poor health that's costing us money, it's their good health. Insurers are charging us more because people are living longer. Wait, are you saying that to get cheap health insurance, we need old people to die earlier? <laughs> no, but you just did. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these insurance companies to play God? I mean, the whole thing's a scam. Look at this. What, ha what, what happened to you? Nothing, but if I don't claim medical shit, my insurance money goes to waste. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I just gotta put in my hearing aid. <laughs> Uh, so, Reese. Jesus Christ, that is very <laughs> nice! <laughs> right, so why do you have private health insurance? Uh, well, I recently, thanks to you, became middle class. <laughs> <laughs> Happy to help. And just like you were saying the other day, out of nowhere, I would rather cut out my own kidney than share a hospital room with a member of the general public. <laughs> Whoa. Hang on, that is a bit classist, Reese. Oh, please. We're on a satirical news program on the national broadcast and no poor people are watching me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? You're watching the news so they don't have to? Well, they're out there working so you don't have to. <laughs> uh, so, so what should be done? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in hot with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just every week you ask me and I'm a comedian. I don't f***ing know. <laughs> but let's start here. This is the product disclosure statement from my insurer and I tried reading it and it left me with a lot of questions like why are some of my claims denied? Why do policy exclusions keep changing? And most importantly, what is a physio? <laughs> well, a physiotherapist uh, manages pain and injury through movement and exercise. Yeah, OK, well, I also want a rubber football player but I'm not going to tape for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a bit harsh on physios. Oh, please. They're not watching the ABC. They're watching their cousin on maths. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I, I won't ask you to fix it, but any ideas at all? It's all just about money. Over the last two decades, premiums have gone up by 200%. The industry profited over $2 billion last year. Maybe give some of that money back and lower the premiums. Hey, go crazy. Chuck some of that cash towards aged care, maybe. <laughs> We already have a cost of living crisis. The way this is going, it is starting to feel like a cost of staying alive crisis. <laughs> Would you please thank Reese Nicholson!